Today's recipe is a creamy veggie au gratin that is loaded with broccoli, cauliflower, various cheeses, full of flavor, and is definitely going to be a crowd pleaser. Hello everyone, I am Deborah. Welcome to my kitchen. And you may not know that I recently turned 60 years old. And these days, you guys, more so than ever before, I am determined to make life my own kind of special. And I do that through exercise and also through my diet. Now I'm on the lower carb side of things because that's just what my body calls for. And my husband, not so much, but the recipes that I bring to you we all can enjoy regardless of whether you are low carb or not. And that's exactly what I'm bringing you today. A veggie au gratin, you guys. It is creamy. It is bubbly. It is cheesy. It is higher in protein because I'm also using as one of my cheeses, cottage cheese, you guys. It's packed with flavor. It comes together really, really quickly. So you guys, let's stop talking. Everything that you need to put this together is up there on the screen. Gather everything up, come in close, and let's make this delicious dish together. Coming up next. Okay, everyone, so we are going to start with our broccoli and cauliflower. Now, I opted to choose um, frozen broccoli and cauliflower. So what I did is I took it out of the freezer, let it sit for a while, ran some hot water over it just so I can get all the ice off of it. And then I squeezed it to get the um, extra water out of it, okay? So now at this point, and then also I cut it into bite-sized chunks. This point is ready to go ahead and season it. So in this bowl, I've got my seasoning which is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Go ahead and give this a mix. I just have a little plastic bag here, you guys. Okay, I have thoroughly coated all of these veggies with the seasoning blend, and it smells amazing. Now, I'm gonna add in some chopped red onion. which of course, if you don't like onions, you guys, you can leave this out. Again, you make this recipe your own kind of special. I'm just here to inspire. Okay guys, this is well blended. So let's go ahead and set this aside. But on a side note, I have to tell you, I tasted this. This tastes amazing. I tell you, you probably could just take some olive oil and maybe a little bit of butter and put this in your baking dish and bake it. And this would be a phenomenal side with just this alone. But anyway, again, we are making it in our gratin today. So move this aside and put front and center my cheddar cheese. So my cheddar cheese, I chopped it. I actually called for um, it to be shredded, but my sous chef, okay, did what they wanted to do today. But so we're gonna go with it. <laughs> so to this, we are going to add our cottage cheese and our sour cream mixture. And again, I opted to use um, some cottage cheese just to boost that protein level because that is another thing that I'm looking to incorporate into my diet is adding more protein in each and every meal. And as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pair this side with some chicken breast. Okay, this has been thoroughly combined. And you guys, at the last minute, I decided to add some fresh chopped chives from my garden because they are just oh so good okay now at this point this cheese mixture is ready and we are going to pour in our veggies and mix all right everyone Everything is well combined, so now it is time to put this into our baking dish, which I have sprayed with some non-stick cooking spray of avocado oil. Let's go ahead and put this in. Okay, spread it around. All right, everyone, this looks good. So at this point, the only thing that we have left to do is to top this with some Parmesan cheese and butter. And also, if you're not so concerned about the carb count, you can also do some panko breadcrumbs as well, but I'm concerned about the carb count. So that is not something that I'm gonna do. We bring this dish over and combine this butter and this Parmesan cheese. 
Sprinkle this on top. Okay, everyone. This is ready for the oven. So off it goes in my preheated 350 degree oven for about a half hour. I'm gonna check it in around 20 minutes, just make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do. And again, approximately 30 minutes later, this should be ready. And here we have it, hot out of the oven, our veggie are rotten. So you guys, we have to exercise some patience here and just let this rest for a few minutes. And then we are going to plate this up, serve it, and give it a taste. This has set for about 10 minutes and it's time to go ahead and serve this. So what you can do is you can actually eat this as a meal. Look at that. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sprinkle some bacon bits on top. Now you could of course have put this in the mixture itself before you actually cooked it, but my husband does not like bacon. So I've opted to keep it on the side and to sprinkle a little on top. And there you have it. Or you can use this as a side. So let me put this aside. And this is my husband's plate. I've got some rice already up here. I'm going to pair it with chicken breast that has been nicely seared on the stove. Look at that, you guys. And of course, extra protein. And then again, we are going to use this veggie or gratin as our side dish. I have a nice, healthy serving. And his plate is complete. Okay, everyone, time to eat. Lord, I thank you. And who said veggies were boring? Oh my gosh. You guys, give it a try. I always say that, give it a try. And when you do, leave in the comments that you did and just how phenomenal this is because that is exactly what this is we took some frozen veggies of course you can do the fresh if you want but for the sake of time and what i had in my fridge were frozen veggies i took them i seasoned them to perfection i put a blend of cheeses in it put it in the oven you guys and i've got myself a phenomenal meal and of course once again because i use cottage cheese i boosted the protein level and this is the main course but you can use it as a side as well, just as I did with my husband's plate. I've got some rice here. I've got some chicken breast that has been seared to perfection on the stovetop. And he is going to be a happy camper, you guys. So like I said, give this a try. And when you do, please do leave in the comments. And also please do like and share and subscribe to my channel if you've not yet done so before. And as I always say here, you guys, it is a great day. And you continue to make it your own kind of special. And until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries. Because after all, life is too short to eat boring food. <laughs> and I'll see you guys real soon. And thanks again for being here. And enjoy.